Congressman, you had an absolutely stellar Twitter thread um, asking Congress certain questions about the unintended consequences. This is sort of a theme of what we've been talking about on this show the past month, too, that for every policy, there's the intended impact and then the unintended consequences. Um, when you're speaking to Congress in this respect, what are you talking about? Well, we put out some information uh, with the hashtag Congress does not know because Congress isn't, first of all, doing its job. It's not meeting. We're supposed to be back on Monday. Nancy Pelosi is not calling us back. Uh, the American people need us to do our job, so we should be in Washington meeting and doing our job. Second of all, because we're not doing our job, we're not doing any hearings. We're not looking into any of the things that we know are the consequences of the current lockdown. And look, I'm a cancer survivor. You no doubt have cancer survivors or other people who have survived terrible illnesses in your family. We have a, a woman today who is not getting a mammogram who is going to find out she's got stage three breast cancer because we've been locking down the ability to get elective procedures. We've got people right now that we know are going to be heart hurting from heart disease. We've got mental health issues. And all of these are things that Congress can't intelligently speak to because we haven't been doing our job to walk through all of the consequences of the decision making be done, being done now with the sole focus on the coronavirus. Today, I spoke to Shelley Luther. She's the woman who runs the uh, hair salon. She's a hairstylist in Dallas. And I just talked to her an hour ago on the phone. She's the one, if you've seen in the news, that is being clamped down on and being told that she can't do her job. She can't go in and, and carry out business for the hundreds of clients that want to come in and work for her. She doesn't have any money from the PPP plan. She doesn't have any way to pay her bills. Yet she's being told by law enforcement they're going to come in, cite her, shut her down when there's a dog groomer right next door. This is how ridiculous we've turned all this up on its head. And I think it's important for Congress to look at all of the unintended or frankly, maybe for some intended consequences of destroying our economy, undermining oil and gas, limiting freedom and blowing up the very America that we know is great, all in the name of trying to stop a virus when we know, in fact, right now, for the vast majority of Americans age zero to 65, they can go about their life right now safely if we would just get reengaged and do it.